All right. So, uh, uh what now? <laughs> we could check out their like uh theater stuff to see if there's like, you know, trap doors or trick things or something like that or we could try and find like where Like we should look at the stage. Right. Smart. Uh, yes. And then perhaps their personal dressing rooms if they are not already there. You're not being a perv, are you, Elijah? <laughs> What? No, this is an investigation. I'm a doctor, damn it. You, uh, you, you gotta be honest. Listen, we're well, not so cops, you... but you gotta tell us. Handy you hot, fair, Elijah. <laughs> Handy hot. To be fair, my former master was a doctor, and he was a notorious deviant. Was See, rather... Quint just knows. Don't, don't compare me to that. Per You're the doctor to pervert pipeline is a strange shot. <laughs> <laughs> I will not tolerate this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Elijah. I'm going to hobble a little bit away. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I have a cane. It's the, I didn't my knee that. or my leg hurts. Whether oh, it was right. You didn't mention that. You did not mention that. <laughs> I was oh, like, hold on. Am I flirting with an elderly man? <laughs> 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 Which, you know, is fine. It's fine. If that were the case, it's fine. I'm an adult. <laughs> oh, adults here. Elijah, right. as, you, as, you, as you begin to kind of hobble away, <laughs> um, you do find a, immediately just about on your right-hand side um, is the dressing room. Oh. And it's like, does it have like a sticker or like tape over top that says like the Fox sisters? No, it just yes. says oh. dressing room. <laughs> Why am I so disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> I want the star with their names on it. I can't afford that. <laughs> One night Kimmel? only. Yeah. <laughs> what if it was? <laughs> um, <laughs> yay old. Jimmy. I'm going to knock on Sir it. Sir Jimster Kimmelston. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Amy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does You've been very know? hungry for a very long time, Dom. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait for the blood sugar to catch up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you knocked. Is that right? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. So you <laughs> knock on the door, um, and you don't hear anything. Is it unlocked? If I just go ahead and turn that doorknob. Sure is. Oh heck yeah. Yeah. And Doors I'll uh, my way in. I'll stand nearby just to like be on on lookout. Nice. Perfect. And Jocelyn, as the door swings open, you see a fairly well appointed um, dressing room. There's a couple of, uh, of mirrors in it, kind of full length for costume changes. There's a wardrobe uh, in the back. Uh, there is a uh, uh, like a vanity with a mirror and a table uh, with some different kind of makeups, uh, and brushes set out on it, but that's about all that's in the room, uh, that you can see. Um, I get out my magnifying glass. <laughs> Do I need to use a Benny to have a magnifying glass? I will let you have a magnifying glass for free. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> It Thank feels you. like it should be with your you, you are a kind and benevolent GM. <laughs> I know it's a big ask. But... <laughs> That's just going to um, shift everything because you're going to focus the sun's rays on something. And... That's right. I'm going to burn this whole theater down. That'll solve the problem. <laughs> it um, would solve some problems. And create others. It would. <laughs> um, well, if I was a secret, where would I be? This is she's posing this to the group. So Behind... everybody. Oh. oh yes. No, I want to hear what you were gonna say. <laughs> oh, um <clears throat> well normally uh, oh that's not my voice. Um <laughs> I, I, like normally, <laughs> I was playing a really The demon has been there. in Elijah the whole time. Oh god! <laughs> god dang, you were supposed to I knew you early. were a deviant. Oh. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Um uh, Artful Badger gives one uh uh Benny to DJ regular. Uh a, oh, thank you. His self. Uh and then uh, Vanessa, yes. Right? Yes. Vanessa gives one to me and one to 
uh, our good doctor, Elijah. Oh, we love to see it. <clears throat> Thanks, Peeps. Thank y'all. We're only four, wait, only five, five. subs away from 100 on the coast. Yep, 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 yep. Get only five away from coming. 100 on coffee. Tap in. Okay, continue. But we Perhaps we could look inside of, um, look inside the vanity. I'm uh, fond of secrets behind mirrors. I bet you are. <laughs> no, okay. not like that. <laughs> I, I don't know why, Doc, but I you, sometimes there's a little bit of a creep factor. I, I, <laughs> apropos it... of nothing, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> just like, oh. I, I, I would want to know if I was doing it. So you take the it. The good but, doctor is simply curious like the rest of us. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would I would suggest uh, also if there are any... <laughs> no, there's a hair. There's... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest also if there are a look for any particular books on demonology or or perhaps uh, uh, perhaps uh, anything uh, anything literary that seems out of the ordinary. I feel as though... The difference between charlatans and true believers is uh, their, cho their choice of reading material. Is that, is that it? <laughs> yeah, don't trust anyone who reads that uh, Demobi dick. <laughs> Has that been published yet? I don't think so. <laughs> well, it will be. Keep an eye on that one. It's oh, gonna be big. That sounds like demonology. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of is. I should know the answer to that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh okay, so we're checking. I have um, like, Elijah I have checking the vanity. Yes, please. And and 51, Moby Dick was out. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. What's, happened? What's happened? Moby Dick, Moby Dick was, was out. released. It was 1851. So Good reference. Oh, earlier, yes. It was a uh, shot in the dark. A shot in the whale. <laughs> I have Quintus <laughs> keeping an eye out for any uh, illicit <laughs> manuscripts. All right. Do either um, Buzz or Jocelyn want to look anywhere in particular? Or do you just want to kind of search the room generally? Um, I'm down to help both both the doctor and Quintus. Um, and then also I want to look at the baseboards of uh, the armoire. Okay. At the, the bottom and the back of the armoire. Okay. I will uh I will support the good doctor. Um, I love his support. And uh uh help move the mirror or whatever we need to do for the vanity to Thank you. The vanity. Take Careful, sometimes yeah. the mirror is not attached to the vanity. Oh, we <laughs> want to break it. Uh Good to know. True, true. So Okay, so yep. You yeah. will need to make your support roll first. <clears throat> mhm. Mm um uh what do you think with just uh, should I do notice or to move it? You want it's, athletics? <laughs> <laughs> Either athletics or just a strength roll would be fine if okay. you're going to move it. Okay, I'll do athletics. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's a five, so get a plus one on your roll. One, two, Ooh. roll. All right. So, Elijah, nice. I will need you to make a notice roll, please, at a plus one. Notice. I have a six in that. So I can add a modifier. Boop. Because that's hard math sometimes. Hey, I feel like I'm cheating. This is my second roll, but it's still a six plus one. And I'm getting nervous. I feel like oh. this. <laughs> When's the luck going to run out? <laughs> also, I... digital rollers never do good. So this and saving her, saving it for later. It's gonna be great. Look, nothing but blue, sure, nothing but blue skies from here on out. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Golden. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Hey, um, it is expertly moved. It is. It's it's and it was. You were right. That it was not attached. The mirror was not attached. Oh, so you thank managed God, not to. I warned yeah. you. Oh, you managed not to uh, tip that over. Buzz, you know, helps hold on to it and move it. Uh, and you find in one of the drawers. Uh, a couple of stuffed animals. There is a um, <laughs> there is a bunny, and there is a giraffe. Stuffed animals. I had a giraffe stuffed animal 
Mm-hmm. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay, yeah. Guess that um... means you also worship demons. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, Quintus, make a notice roll for me, please. Um, and Jocelyn as well. Notice rolls. Can I use my edge of investigator for my notice roll? Not this mm-hmm. time. Certain types of notice rules. Okay. Certain types, yep. This isn't quite the kind that you would need. Okay, okay. Ew. Um, I'm going to spend a Vinny because I got a two. Okay. Vinny, right here. Spending a Vinny. Thank you. Huh? Why do I have... Oh, mine exploded. Nice. Right? Whoa. So six, and I got an eleven. Ooh! I also got an eleven. Nice. nice. As long as it's not nice. like a seventy-two or something, I'll, we'll believe it probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm using the the, the generator that we yeah. the digital dice one. Yeah. 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 We're good. Yeah. Um. So an eleven. Eleven. Um. Quintus, there is no text of any kind in this room. There's nothing oh. to to notice on that one. Um, and Jocelyn, you were looking at the armoire, right? Floorboards yes. of the armoire. Sorry, I forgot my name. Back. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you, you look under it, um, and you're kind of feeling around to see if there's some kind of trick mechanism and you look behind it. Um, and there doesn't seem to be anything there, but you open the doors and that's when you find their wardrobe hanging up. And you see a couple of very plain kind of white dresses, cotton dresses, uh, and uh, some like stoles for the cold. Um, Buzz, I would specifically need you, please, to make a notice roll for me. Sure. You know what? <clears throat> Everybody make a notice roll for me, but I mean, Buzz, take a plus two. Okay. Another, an, an additional one? Oh, it's a good thing Everybody I make one notice roll. As okay. well as um, Jocelyn yes. again? Okay. Everybody make a notice roll. I got a four. With a plus two? Yep. <laughs> but. I know. <laughs> hey, okay. he, he's, not, he's not the most noticing type. <laughs> a four is still a success, right? Yeah. Yeah. And would this imply uh, use my edge or no? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I got a nine then. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, eight Bad. with a raise. An eight, is, yes. An eight gives you a raise. So okay. Yes. I didn't know what that meant. Thank you, <laughs> Quintus. I got, a, I got a three. Quintus oh, looked disappointed. No. <laughs> okay, so um, Elijah and um, Jocelyn, you notice that this, these dresses seem very plain very very plain for two people who are in show business to some degree um it's not at all what you would expect um buzz you notice this as well um however those of you with raises and i think that is jocelyn and elijah notice that these are incredibly old-fashioned dresses this is not at all what you would expect a modern person even from america (laughs) <laughs> to be wearing um just because it's slightly creepy i would like to be the first to like remark about that out loud <laughs> like i'll kind of like touch the fabric like yes oh my this fabric is ancient huh you, you don't need to fondle it elijah no 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 i was just examining it you often go around rubbing women's dainties no, I just, I'm a fabric enthusiast. <laughs> That's a new one. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> Regardless, this outfit, these outfits are, are far too outdated for a, 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 um, a modern demon uh, show. <laughs> well, two, two young women yeah. in, in, the, in, the current, in the current time. Why are they, and, the, and they're performers. Like, I'm going to pull it out. Like, this would cover their ankles. Oh. Wait, you want their ankles to show? I'll put it away. <laughs> uh, no, no. Not of course so not. It's not a cabaret. It's a 
it's a demon summoning or something. Well, it, let's not let's not say that it's not a cabaret. I mean, it could be a cabaret. But... I mean, what's the definition of a cabaret? A- ankles. 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 <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if your ankles are out, you're performing a cabaret. Yeah. <laughs> Any indelicateness aside, this would perhaps lend us more toward the, the avenue of them being true believers, if nothing else. If, uh, if they do, I, if they if they believe in demons, then they will they would believe that uh, to be unadorned would be able to be closer to them. Is that right? Is that how demons are? Well, or, spir- things of a spiritual nature, I mean. Or they could be very old, and they just never really updated their fashion. Well, you know, as far as we know, they are 21 and 19, but if they had a demon rejuvenating their youth... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. There's a lot of possibilities here. I still think, though, you know, if, you, if you're aging, you'd still sort of keep up. To, they're not lacking funds right they get paid for the shows very true okay no quintus there is more credence to your um theory as a former adherent to a uh spiritual monastic order the first thing that they teach is that uh, uh finery and and embellishment is what keeps one far away from a path of spiritual enlightenment huh Wow. Did you say a connection with a demon is spiritual in nature? In a matter of speaking. Okay. Right. Well, okay. Uh, we have one piece of evidence somewhat pointing to potentially them being demon worshippers. Uh, that's a little flimsy to go on, I think. Is anything else? Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that evidence, but it's better than nothing, I guess. What about these stuffed animals? The giraffe and the bunny. <laughs> the bunny. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe they're keepsakes from their childhood. Can I squeeze it? Is there anything mm-hmm. inside? Stuffing. Mm. We better rip it open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps do- later. Do they look old, tattered Ooh, in any way? That's a good question. Like you, they look well loved. Nice. So like shit. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it was love. <laughs> it depends on perspective there, but for Jocelyn's perspective, maybe yes. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. Hmm. All right. Uh, was there nothing in the armoire? The clothes. The clothes. Oh, the right, right, right. The clothes. So we've but looked at the vanity find any, the like, armoire. Uh, hidden spots, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were going to look at floorboards and stuff, weren't you, Jocelyn? I was. I was looking at the the floor of the armoire. Floor of the armoire. But, you know, you could, if you want to get on your hands and knees and start tapping <laughs> around on the ground, be my guest. Well, that is not something I am going to do. <laughs> is Is there anything else to? Is there any like furniture? Any other furniture that we haven't? Un- not really other doors or anything like that okay not in this room all righty well i think that we uh maybe should move on to uh to the stage or or or, or elsewhere where are my scones <laughs> and he moves out of the room and starts walking down the hallway Okay, I'm gonna take the stuffies, um, because if we have to do like some counter reverse magic, I think having a possession of theirs is usually it's a classic useful tool. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Can we just take uh like a piece of them and leave? So they uh, don't like, notice they're gone? We could like take an arm, I I, I guess, or take <gasps> a head. Don't you think they notice that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like a perhaps, little bit of a little bit of the stuffing or something. Quintus, or an what errant, do you think? perhaps an errant thread. Doesn't seem as powerful as the entire stuffy, but very well. You know, I think maybe you just want a friend. <laughs> I'm perfectly not alone. Thank you very much. Uh, to the point, Elijah. Is... I need you to make a smarts roll, please. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Aren't you alone? 
What if we're all the twist at the end is we're all figments of Elijah's imagination? <laughs> it's been done. <laughs> uh, silly question. When so this is going to be an attribute uh, from mm -hmm. my attributes, and in my smarts, it's like white, white, white with a line, black with two lines. That's a deep ten. Yeah. So the black is the I'm, one that you're that you're wanting. Is That's, that just like a, a, a stylistic choice? It's it's trying to show you the shape of the die that it is. It's a D10. Oh, because the D8 and the D10 are a little yeah. similar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so I just I'm gonna click this. I guess. Yeah, why not? Um, oh, I don't <laughs> have any modifiers. <laughs> Remove that. Okay, uh, 18 with three raises? Woo! Ooh, what right. the hell happened? <laughs> how, I don't even understand this. What happened? How did Wild that happen? Die is a four plus four. Or is a, it's a four equal four. I'm just going to screenshot it. I don't understand. I think your dice probably exploded multiple yeah. times. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> And it may in I, I am not using that, but it may in parentheses just tell you what each roll of the die actually did. Yeah. So your it's 10. Yeah. You die, rolled a 10, wild die, yeah. Your 10 exploded. Uh, and then um, as did your uh, but your wild die did not. You only got a four in your wild die, but your 10 exploded. And then you got another eight on top of that. So gotcha. 18. OK, very nice. A little explosion sign means exploded. Yeah. Boom. Hmm. Cool. 18. Nice. And the good news is that you remembered the way they were positioned and you managed to put them back. Oh. Exactly as you took them out. Minus a thread. Minus a thread. An errant thread. <laughs> well done. You know, Quintus you. is so poetic sometimes. <laughs> did, you, did you say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> Quintus, yeah. Quintus actually looks away and uh, blushes a little bit. Oh, don't be shy. <laughs> Buzz, as you're outside uh, in the hallway with your scone, hmm. uh, you with see... your 11 scones. With your 11 scones. <laughs> uh, no, don't do that. Sorry. You see... <laughs> no, Listen no. There. You see a uh, oh. woman coming Ooh. down the hallway. She a has a white woman? flower in her hair. <laughs> And she is carrying like three really large vases with different flowers in each one. Um, and she seems to be kind of struggling with them. Um, uh, can I help you with that, ma'am? Oh, 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 you would. Yes, please. Oh, you would be such a dear. Oh, if you'll just, if you'll just take this. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. and, uh, and she, she kind of loads you up with two of them. And she says, if you'll just wait one moment. Um, and she goes back and gets yet another one um from around the corner and so she has two of these large vases and you have two and she says oh you i'm running behind and this this is you're really saving me here thank you uh no 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 problem uh, uh my name is uh buzz buzz callahan uh, who oh may I... oh you're the you are the sharpshooter <laughs> exactly right. Yes, I am. It's so man. good to meet you. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, I'm Clara Pertwee. It's very nice to make your acquaintance. Clara, now it's nice to meet you as well. Uh, where where are we uh, heading with these? Uh, the front of the stage. Alrighty. Uh, Ma'am, if you would, I can take those. Up oh, oh, that's oh, thank you so much. And she she hands it off, loads them into you, and she goes around the corner and she gets two more. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she says, "Oh, you have no idea. You're so helpful." Oh, and I'll okay. take the other two. Oh. <laughs> People just keep popping I was, out. <laughs> I was trying this to give y'all. I was trying to give y'all to an opening to actually yeah. start talking to her. Oh, that's great! I'll talk. I'm not oh. picking things up and moving. <laughs> and um, she kind of hands you those two, and then she goes around the corner and gets another one, and she just has the one more. She's like, "Oh, you just, oh, you've killed me! Thank you so much." This is she's a fucking so flower much. clown car. <laughs> I know it does seem like quite a lot, but uh, they they wanted a good many flowers. That's uh, the reason I'm running so late. Um, and we're just uh, just to the to the stage here. If you'll, um, uh, sir, if you would just and she points at um, Elijah and she says, if you'll mm. just open the door for me, if you that's oh, the stage. Yes. yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, and she goes through and and shows you where to place the bases. 
Um, so you're words, helping right? her. They are. Um, well, Quintus, <laughs> let's make a knowledge roll, shall, shall we? Let's do. Uh, right. Let's do smart specifically. Uh, and before chrysanthemums, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, crit fail. Oh, okay. No. Yep. Nope. Very pretty. Well, <laughs> very pretty flowers. <laughs> I'm I'm quite bookish. Perhaps I would know. You could try. A I can. Soul, I can have. But a... this is not going to add to your. You don't get an edge on this one. Uh oh. With scholar, I don't. Plus, not student. on this particular role. Mm -mm. It says to oh, to one knowledge. Okay. Um. I got a four. Oh, okay. That's nice. All right. So you can tell that they are, you probably in particular like the orange lilies that are there. I'm known the devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there are these other, and there are some daisies mixed in. So, uh, uh, Clara, these, uh, these flowers, these are uh, part of the show or uh, just, just for decoration? Oh, uh, a bit of both, I would expect. Uh, I, I usually uh, arrange flowers for the, the different shows. And uh, the Fox sisters had a very particular order. Uh, well, it, it, it took some time to get together, but uh, it's it's been... I know the, the oleander was especially troublesome at this time of year. Oleander? Uh, wow. Yes, and, yeah. And... Oh yeah. Oh uh, yes. And the the begonias here are delicate and. <sighs> Have you seen frustrating the sisters best. perform before? Oh no 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 no! They're they've just uh, come in. They're going to be here for one night only. I think. Hmm. I, I can tell that they have you kind of run ragged with their demands. It, man. Oh uh, well. Huh. Go ahead. It's, 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 there's just so many. Uh, they were just so very specific. Uh, uh, so it's, I don't know. I, it, a lot of people try to send messages that way, you know, floriography and such. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I'll tell you, I have worked with uh, some of the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, demands. And uh, uh, man, I could tell you stories. Uh, like one time, there was uh, this the uh, a high trapeze artist who uh, only wanted uh, uh, to to fall into cake, and so uh, they had to bake a giant cake. Uh, it's ten feet around. It was huge with uh, marzipan, froth, all this stuff. Anyway, it it, it was wild. What? It, certainly, there's nothing that wild with the with the what they're doing here. I imagine. And he's trying to, um, trying to get her to to uh, give up a little bit more information on what what they've been asking for. Nice. I love it. Um, give me a persuasion roll at a plus one for your incredible marzipan <laughs> <laughs> description. She's intrigued. Uh, well, <laughs> that's your own game. That's so rude. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. I just typed it. <laughs> but it's true. Um, <laughs> like, it just sounds like you're trying to relate to her, her flower problems. I like, mean, she did, she did know who he was. So, and that's fair. And see, uh, like, that'll take Elijah you a long way. That. So, <laughs> so I got a four. Being known. Okay. I got a four, but I'm going to reroll that because I can, because I'm charismatic. So, um, well, yes. Let's see. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Um, that is an eight. Much better. Good. Okay. So uh, she says, well, as usually as a florographer, I try not to talk about the messages that people send. And all of you know about this in the Victorian era. Floriography is a thing where people are, send each other secret messages. Each flower has a particular meaning. So none of this is really new to you. Um, although I don't know how much of you, your character has used one in the past, that kind of a thing, but she's right. Um, but she says, uh, you know, I, 
this one's just such a weird, I don't know. It's so strange. So the, usually when people want flowers, they want something for luck or they want something for a good performance or for money or for relationships. But the oleanders are symbols of caution and the begonias are for beware of something and orange lilies, beautiful though they are, symbolize hate. So I put the daisies in with them, but because these are just two girls, they probably don't realize it. They're from the states. Uh, no offense, uh, and they, you know, but they may not understand. It just seemed like bad luck. So I put the daisies in for a little bit of of innocence and good luck. Is that hmm. what daisies symbolize? Yes. Yes. Ah. Huh. I look forward to seeing how that interacts. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. Yes, <laughs> and, and you're aware of uh, you're aware of the the Fox sisters and their 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 act, are you not? Oh, the spiritualism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Given the messages that uh, orange lilies and and the other flowers that you mentioned send, do you think it is, do you think it's quite purposeful that they wouldn't ask for something like a daisy? Well, they're just two young girls, so I don't, hmm. Well, I, I'm not really sure what you're implying here. Uh, Demons. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it's that. No, it's a show. Mm. It's a show. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'll roll my eyes. Don't you roll your eyes. <laughs> Don't you roll your eyes at me. <laughs> of course, I didn't mean any impertinence. It's just that. Oh, well, no, no, no. I, it's, I and it's fun if that's, if that's, you know, what, what you want to think about as you go to the show. And I, I any show that the Covent Garden runs is, is wonderful. Well, that is yet to be determined. So wait, have you seen the the sisters perform before? No, they're just here for tonight. Oh, you could have seen them somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, I haven't. I didn't. I haven't traveled to the states. Yeah, you don't look much like a trip. Well, I think it is perhaps time for us to move on. Thank you so much, Miss. Oh, thank you, uh, Pertree. Thank you so much. You have saved me so much time. I was I was afraid I was going to run late. And you're welcome. Oh, I've got this other delivery, and she. Thank you. Thank you, though. And she kind of walks away. I love saying you're welcome for things I didn't do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Like when you say you're welcome to uh, to waiters when they come by and give you your stuff. Yes. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Enjoy your food. You too. Uh, always. Oh, always. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so... Is there anything else on the stage besides these flowers? So let's do a um, just kind of a not even a really dramatic task, just a small task. And uh -huh. let's all um, make a roll. You can tell me what skill you want to use and how you want to use it to tell me what you're looking for. And we'll do a quick search that way. Um, but I'll take almost any skill with some kind of reasoning. I'm... I would like to use performance to be able to look at the at whatever is on the stage to see if it's not a usual thing for these types of shows to have or or maybe it, it looks different from what I would expect or something. OK, yep. go for it. That makes sense. And uh, Ms. Pert, we mentioned that they were very particular about the, the flower orders was just um, I guess I'd use knowledge to determine if, like, let's see, actually, let me double check. Uh, let's see, I'd use uh, academics to to figure out if there's if there's some sort of significance to the way the flowers are arranged uh, okay. on the uh, on the stage. Um, I want to go down my rabbit hole of figuring out whether or not the daisies will truly interfere. Like if there's some kind of occult references that I know with like begonias and oleanders. I love that. Make an occult <laughs> role for me. Nice. Yeah. Mm 
two. Jocelyn, do you have a particular? Um, would I be able to use my investigator edge in this situation? Yes. Okay, then. I think I want to investigate uh, specifically the like mechanics of the stage. That's uh, what I'm, yes. Okay, so yep. like uh, looking under it to see if there's any mechanisms, maybe looking over the the curtain or like anything that sort of has a, a mechanism built in that could have been okay modified or added. Sure, go for it. Make your roll. You can use your edge with that. Buzz, you are muted. I got a seven. <laughs> Buzz got a seven. Uh, I got a six. six. Okay. I point at you as if you can see me do that. <laughs> <laughs> a seven and um, a six. And an eight. And an eight. Quintus. I got a five. And a five. Okay, great. Um, so you all basically tear apart the, the stage in one way or another and you end up on catwalks and underneath the stage and you find exactly what a stage you would assume would look like so there's junk underneath the um, stage from previous props and those kinds of dusty. things and it's dusty um the the rigging up at the top uh is pretty strong so that's that's a good sign uh <laughs> thankfully uh, but that you don't see any, like there's a trap door in the middle of the stage, but it seems to be in the trap door that you would expect for raising and lowering people quickly for other productions. It doesn't seem new. Mm -hmm. Uh, Elijah, uh, if you were going to make a potion specifically with these flowers, mm hmm Maybe if it was a very specific kind of, if you had a specific kind of activator, it would do something, but you're just not sure. I like and, it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's I will gather samples then. Okay. I like it. <laughs> samples have been gathered, but yeah, after, after a pretty thorough search, you don't have anything um, that points to, um, chicanery specifically tonight. So there's no pulleys and stuff that you would expect to see. Um, as you're kind of walking around and everything, uh, a couple of people bring in two chairs and um, a table in the middle, position those on the stage. You check the chairs, and everything seems on the up and up. All okay. Right. Well, just because nothing's there now doesn't mean that there won't be later. So. True. I think perhaps we have to watch the show now. Well, I mean, not right now. Uh, might as well take out his pocket watch. What time is it? At this point, it's, man, probably four in the afternoon. You oh, heck, quite a okay. lot of time there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you would have time, let's say, uh, narratively to go get a bite to eat and then come back <laughs> for the show. <laughs> and we could um, time warp that if you want to. Oh, yeah, I'm just about out of scones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you ate fun. a dozen scones in, in what, five hours? <laughs> Mr. Callahan, I do have to ask, where did you hide all of the scones? Oh, well, I got a duster on, so it kind of has a lot of deep pockets on it. You've been leaving a crumb trail, though. Have you been aware? He hasn't. Yeah. And I actually, like kick aside like on the stage i kick aside a little <laughs> tiny dust broom <laughs> you've been literally sweeping up after <laughs> just gotta get rid of the scone crumbs I, I it looks all fine to me <laughs> um mm -hmm. yeah so uh, i mean we could go uh and talk to the fox ladies uh directly i mean worth I mean, a go have to figure out where they are well maybe know maybe sydney knows he, he might have seen him you know see where the carriage takes him after oh, or something goodness. if he does that's really creepy well <laughs> he might have to call the carriage for him you know what i mean 
But I, I don't disagree that it's creepy that he would know. <laughs> I'm just saying he might know. I'm fine asking him. I'm just saying that says something about a man when he knows where a lady is staying in the evenings. I she don't hasn't think explicitly that's told him. Creepy. I know where plenty of ladies stay. <laughs> See, this is sort of proving my point about you, Elijah. Uh, huh. You were a bit I'll have of a to deviant. Contemplate that. I don't, don't agree. That's okay. We like deviants. Some of them. If and at that moment, you step out the door. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> uh, deviant, deviant. Of course, deviants. Yes, uh, the theater. You know. Yes. <laughs> you don't know what we were talking about, Sydney. No, you're right. Hey, hey, Sydney. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know. Uh, this is a strange question, but we, you know, we just. <laughs> Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where uh, where the Fox ladies are staying because we're trying to send them flowers to uh, you know congratulate them on the show and everything. And uh, if mm -hmm. you if you know where they are, you do you do know, don't you? <laughs> beer, beer, are you just showing off your freckle filter? <laughs> a little okay. thing is, but also I need to be exceptionally creepy. <laughs> Uh, and and he says uh, they they put their belongings in the dressing room and that's pretty much all they brought as far as I saw. And they said that they were going to go see the sights. So I imagine they won't be back until the show. I, I don't know anywhere else they're staying. So then I'd stay overnight. I I don't know. You you don't know. It's not my job to know where ladies stay. See, Elijah. Sydney, I thought you would have my back. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've only just now met Elijah. I'm so sorry. I only Elijah. just found out your name was Elijah just now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we can presume they are staying in their dressing rooms, but what sights are there even to see in... Our city. <laughs> London! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what is it? Why is it going to London? This, <laughs> this London. backwater. <laughs> oh, no New York, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I think people really like that big clock. It's, it's fine, I suppose. It's no Keokuk, Iowa, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what you call me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, all right, all right. Well, um, I guess. That's no worries. We'll talk to him after the show because we got tickets, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we could grab and, a bite to eat then. Uh, and point of order. Would it be prudent to request an audience with them after the show? Oh, is that what you do yeah. with theater people? You you request an audience? I thought we just waited in the lobby until <laughs> they came out and took our hands. That, or something. that is usually yes. If they want to come out, they they will. Well, I f it may it may behoove us to make sure make sure that they they know that they have uh, people who, people in particular who are waiting for them. We could leave a, a note. I did you almost gonna... say love note? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not in love with them. It'll just be a regular note. My my only concern is that uh, we could be easily turned away as as simple admirers. Uh, perhaps if we we seed the notion that we have something in particular that we wish to discuss with them, they'd be more apt to listen to us, to stay. Yeah, why don't we just say, hey, we heard you like demons us too, you want to chat? We could just write, we would like to speak, <clears throat> we would like to speak with you <clears throat> and Mr. Splitfoot. <laughs> that may be too forward. That's but, like, uh... I want to speak to you and your wife. Could you bring her? <laughs> I, I don't see that, but um, yeah, I'm saying about... it's an intimate ask. I could, I could report that, uh, given the sudden interest in demonology in our current, in our current times, and my uh, 
my origins in uh, in far off lands that truck with demons, perhaps they would be able to help me learn about my my own history. What, what are you proposing? <laughs> that I'm essentially that I'm essentially using myself as bait to uh, bait to uh, to uh, bring us to a uh, more pertinent conversation. Oh, brilliant. we are not yes. we are we are not simply fans. We are. Potential Admirers. adherence, or oh, potential yes. adherence, or possibly it's just a synonym. <laughs> pe people who are need, in need of our help, it, people who are in need of their help, so to speak. Do you think they are familiar with our organization? Oh. Mm -hmm. Or again, is that too forward? I, I I struggled defining the line. I don't think we should forward. bring up the <laughs> rippers. <laughs> What organization are you talking about? I'm so oh, worried Sydney, about it. Sydney, what are you even doing here? <laughs> Sydney, <laughs> ne Sydney, never mind your pretty head. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And he kind of blushes. It is pretty. <laughs> I read the twirl his mustache. <laughs> We just noticed that that Sydney's <laughs> sitting with us at the cafe eating yeah, with yeah. us. <laughs> I, no, I was picturing we were all just standing around the back door. The That's exactly what I thought was happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we move this to a more uh, private location. Y yes, Sydney. Um, thank you so much for your um, information, and perhaps next time, help a brother out. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to be creepy with him, Sydney. If you. You if, could creep it up a bit. <laughs> if you would, Sydney, uh, and I don't mean to speak for the rest of you, but uh, I will put forth if you could relay a message to the Fox sisters that uh, that there is an individual who requires their aid. Someone of great import. Mm -hmm. Great renown. That's right. And rich. An agent. <laughs> Maybe not. No, that doesn't seem true. Uh, so I mean, someone, the agent part is, and ignore that. I get someone excited. of <laughs> someone of a de of a decent amount of means needs their private attention. Oh, oh, oh I, I like I that. An a potential investor. Oh, everybody loves investors. That is true. Quintus has got inside the house pond money. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a pond inside your house, Sydney? I thought not. I do need to, so do need to reiterate that it is, is a simple wash basin that is that has been placed in a room. Oh, I did not. Um, For Sir Duckington, I it is a pond. <laughs> I assumed oh. it was an in-ground. I did as well. <laughs> Whole affair. Like, just like, like grass. above the game, Quintus is like, sure. That Quintus is like, sure. Let him think it's a pond. It's fine. <laughs> I pictured that he just put a bit of uh, a small wall in front of the door and just filled the whole room with water. That's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I will um, pass along your message. I think Quintus Merrick. Tell them Quintus, Quintus Merrick. Merrick. Okay. Like and. Like, uh, like, point, like, point of order. Basically, they like if they like throw that name around in England, it's like that that weird, fe like that we that weird felt that weird brown fellow with a lot of money that probably shouldn't have a lot of money. You're well known does. for your wealth, yeah, and you're just you never go to any of the soirees. <gasps> you just like Mister Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's no escaping that now for sure. you. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope. I should hope that my my social graces are a bit more up to par than his. I would say um, maybe too up to par. <laughs> maybe make a little less scones. But no, no, no make don't. more scones. Yeah, don't stop with the scones. <laughs> Quinta should take a break sometimes, and he can if he's making scones all day long. <laughs> Is he even the one making the scones? I don't so know. this conversation I over know. dinner about <laughs> who's making <laughs> what food um, <laughs> continues, and nobody can quite seem to reach a consensus on that um, because as we much won't as Quentin, listen to Quintus, right? As much as <laughs> he, like, he protests, you've seen him. <laughs> So like what are times like a, a helper might come in and like measure the flour. So does that like take away from Quintus's uh, baking of it? Like, it? Just you know, there's so much to consider. But go ahead. No, if you do a paint by numbers, are you a painter? 
Well, and then we, we find count. <laughs> it is finally time for the show. Yes. Oh my god, I have to change. <laughs> I'm not dressed for the theater. Consider dressing for um, <laughs> demonology as well. I can do both. Get Proper you a girl who can do hair. both. Get you a girl who can do both. I'm available, by the way. I, you've more than implied. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. That seems like a really nice way to call me a slut, Elijah. <laughs> what? what? No, I would never. Are you calling me a charlatan? I, I've you not would. seen your ankles. I, you're quite just. No, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was actually gonna say, and, and with that sort of attitude, you never will. But apparently, <laughs> no, Elijah's right. I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of, uh, um, uh, a, a burlesque well. dancer. Oh, a burlesque dancer. No, I don't called? have the coordination, the uh, the athleticism. <laughs> Fine, I won't change. Year. But you sit in the theater. <laughs> And say, I won't change. <laughs> and you're with, uh, you're around an audience that is seems very rowdy. You fit oh, in uh, quite well. We fit in, yeah. A rowdy is, crowd for an exorcism, mm -hmm. or what yeah. This is a this is like a crowd we get at the show. It's yeah. a Thursday night, you know, one night only kind of show. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody who can goes. Why not? <laughs> See, everyone's wearing a hat. I look silly. Yeah, you should have truly changed. I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it the ankle thing? You look. What do you, you mean by that? <laughs> well, the lights dim. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After the show, I've got a, a mouthful for you. <laughs> and <laughs> a spotlight comes on the curtain. And you hear a little bit of violin in the background and you wait a moment and you're waiting for that announcer to come out. But instead the curtains just slowly pull open and sitting in two chairs are two girls whom you would recognize from the posters as Maggie Fox and Kate Fox. It's the Fox sisters. <laughs> and they're sitting and <laughs> they look at each other and they look out of the crowd and they say oh look at all the people we've had come to see us Mr. Splitfoot <gasps> we should call him yes we should when Mr. Splitfoot comes to town all the people gather around Mr. Splitfoot please appear it's you the people came to hear. And they both lean forward. Oh, he's shy, Mr. Splitfoot. Maybe he's shy because he's not real. Mr. Splitfoot <laughs> comes to town and all the people gather around. Mr. Splitfoot, please appear. It's you the people came to hear. <laughs> it's nothing nothing has truly happened oh yet. god yes. <laughs> and you can hear these knocks coming from kind of everywhere Ooh. um and they say oh he's here he's here <gasps> oh and the people will have questions so the the rules are one knock for yes, two knocks for no. Oh, they're shy. Yeah, they are. It's okay. Mr. Splitfoot, we'll ask first. Mr. Splitfoot, are you with us? Remember, one knock for yes, two for no. Mr. Splitfoot's here. Uh, might I ask a question? <gasps> Please, yes. Um, are you within our realm of existence, Mr. Splitfoot? Oh, yes, God. he is. 
Technically, yeah. probably. Oh, you, yes, you, yes. Do you have a corporeal form? Wow. No. Isn't that convenient? You'd be able to see him. Maybe he's hiding. Well. No. Oh, yes, sir, with the hat. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, sorry. Yes, I'm in the right. theater. Uh, 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 ma'am, <laughs> sir, uh, would you, uh, uh, would you be able to show us, uh, something to, uh, to make us true believers in you, in your form? Uh, any, any, to be honest, any charlatan can do knocks on a stage. Am I right? No. I mean, he's got a knock, point. Knock. No. Uh, and the audience starts to kind of rumble at that <laughs> oh, a little bit. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Dogs agreed. And uh, uh, Monstrosity Jones gives uh, everyone one Benny. <gasps> thank hey, you, Monstrosity yes, thank Jones. You. Ooh, we got a raiding party. Hello, hello. Hello, raiders. Ooh, invert. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Okay. Welcome. We're playing Welcome. rivers. We are, indeed. Spooky. Uh, and and the crowd by, around you kind of rumbles a little bit at that, because uh, it's you're kind of spoiling the fun. Uh, just, yeah, I'd be just... mad, too, if I paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, yeah. I'll leave it to Mr. Splitfoot to, uh... And you begin to hear knocks. What does that mean? All around, all around, there's this cacophony. Some of them seem to be coming from under you. Some of them are kind of behind you or in front of you from the stage, but it's echoing just everywhere. Um, there's a couple, again, that seem to be, like, right at your back somehow. Um... Would I be able to, uh, using performance or whatever you, you want, um, would I be able to tell if something like the knocking all around me is possible in uh, like a stage? Like maybe they have a bunch of people that are just knocking on floors and stuff. You could absolutely attempt to notice that. Yes. Um, okay. I'll take performance for that, though, since you, know you have a specialty there. Okay. Nice. You know where the trap doors are as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's a seven. Um, the audience around you is flipping out. They're, it's scaring them. Aww. Nobody seems to be, You. I mean, you look around pretty closely. Nobody seems to be knocking. They're all just kind of huddled up. And they've gotten very quiet. And the girls are like, oh, you're making them mad. Mr. Splitfoot, don't get mad. Not everybody's a believer, but we'll show them. Who else has a question? And one lady raises her hand. She's like, oh, I got a question. <laughs> and everybody's like, hey, finally. Um, and she says, hey, is me old man cheating on me? <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. We're so sorry. Oh, and she's like, I knew it. I kn and she starts to smack him with her purse. Oh, he's there like, too. So sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, and they kind of go running out of the theater, and the crowd thinks that's the best thing that's ever happened. Mm, it's juicy. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, there's there are a couple of more questions that kind of go on like that, you know. Um, and then when there are silences, you know, they're like, Mr. Splitfoot, are you having a good time? You are. So are we. Do you like the flowers? Oh, you don't like the flowers. Yeah, they didn't really do it right, did they? Who else has questions? Quindus, do you have... It's, this might be a moment for your expertise. I'm just a doctor, I'm not a question asker of demons. They can do numbers too. Mr. Splitfoot, how many of us are on stage? Three. Oh, you counted yourself too. Of course you did. <laughs> um, Mr. S Go ahead. Mr. Splitfoot, do you mean anyone in this arena harm? Mr. 
Mr. Splitfoot, answer him, please. Do you mean anybody in this arena harm? No. He's a friend. Mm -hmm. I presume that you do not like daisies, yes? Yes. No, daisies are for babies. I see. It, is there a way we can... Oh, the hat man again! <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Um, <clears throat> is there a way we can uh, uh, bring you into this world uh, further, Mr. Splitfoot? I don't think he understands what you mean. Well, I mean, you know, if he's a, a demon of sorts or whatever, I'm sure, you know, everyone would like to see him uh, in person. Like, not just Knox, but like actual, you know, flesh and blood, oh. as it were. Oh, Mr. Splitfoot, can you come see us in, in like person, right? That's what you mean? Everybody make a notice roll, please. Oh, my God, I'm going to poop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Does this count? Does my investigator yes. work with this? Okay. Yes. 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 I got an eight. Mm. And and uh, yes, I I understand that there are pets that need food, so we can take a quick five minute break for, for pet fitting after this roll. Uh, I got an eleven. Ooh. Ooh. I got a twelve. I my wild die exploded. Well, dang. Talk to him. <laughs> I feel like everybody needs like their own personal hype man for dice rolls. Yeah. yeah. If I bring if I, if I bring nothing else to to I would love that. Role play. You bring much else. Best. So much else. So much else. Um so everybody passed their notice roll? Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay, so with bells on. With bells on. So what you all notice is that they seem to be having to make sure that they understand the question before Mr. Splitfoot can answer it. Hmm. So you're saying to bring him, um, like if he could come see us in person, could he do that? That's what you mean, Catman? Yeah. yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's oh, I mean. Mr. Splitfoot, can you come and see us? Can you repeat that, please? He says no. That's silly. And on that, we should probably take our five minute break. Okay. I'm so afraid of these women. <laughs> I actually thought of an, another good question, but it can wait. Ooh, yeah. Write it down. Don't forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We will take a quick break. Uh, we'll be right back with more Rivers. Stay tuned. <laughs> 